the phone is good. Yeah. Your phone is good. For sure. That that is true to be fair. By the, the way, laptop you... I think we like can convince people to use the laptop. Seven forty five, just let you know right now before we continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, still now is fine. As you said though, with a laptop, yeah, it is it, it makes it so much more not professional per se, but like but yeah, at the same time a bit more professional. It makes you take it more seriously. It does. If you especially if you're doing you at least do your analysis on the laptop, don't you? Yeah, I do yeah. Yeah, the thing is, if you're a beginner, you're going to be tempted to literally analyze on your phone. Like, we both did this at the start. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Like, you're tempted to analyze on your phone. The trick yeah. with that is, not trick, but issue. The issue is, like, you never see the full picture, really. Like, you'll see something, because you only see a tiny bit of the screen. And it's your phone, so you're used to, like, getting, like, a instant of dopamine from your phone. Like, you know, scroll Instagram, other stuff. Like, you associate your phone with all this other stuff. Yeah. You're not going to take your trading as seriously if you're um, trying to analyze on it. Because you're, like like I said, you're used to doing other stuff on it, like watching YouTube, scrolling through Instagram, TikTok. Nothing yeah, exactly. wrong with them stuff. Nothing wrong with them things. I'm just saying, like, no, there is stuff yeah, wrong with them. More casual. <laughs> There's a, yeah, it's so casual. So when you're, when you're on trading view on your phone, your brain's yeah. on casual mode. So when you're going to place yeah. a trade, not even giving a shit, you're like, oh, okay, you're a uh, broke structure. That's enough for me. <laughs> and you're just going to place it, get fucked over. Uh, and that's it. You know what's that's not why casual. I think laptop is better. You know, it's not casual. Losing a grand per trade. So you guys better sort your lives out, yeah, and get a laptop and <laughs> on a laptop. That's, that's Legit. Gonna be a- <laughs> Legit. As soon as you get the FTM and that happens on your phone, you're going to be like, shit. Yeah, you're like, God damn. But, to be honest... Saying that, you're not even going to process it properly because you're on your phone. It's like, yeah. it's so different on your phone compared to like yeah. seeing a loss on your laptop. Especially if you started off with your phone and you're using like demo with your phone, like you use demo with your phone and you're like, and then you get, you pass an FTM mode then boom, exactly the same thing happens. I, oh, it's, it's, yeah. I want to forget movies FTM mode again, man. Yeah, but just, just do it now. <laughs> just do it now. Yeah. Get it over with. I started doing that literally like, if something takes five minutes, I'm, I'm not leaving it till tomorrow. I'm fucking doing it now. Just so I don't forget. What do you need to do? Just buy it and send it to him? No, just buy it and give it to him. Like the details? No, no, no. I, literally, I, I have his account details. All I got to do is just sign on to his thing and then, um, and then buy it. Oh, all right. Him. Okay, cool. Hey. Okay, I'm going to wait for the confirmation of GJ now. It's at my area. Let me see what oh, the right. next candle does. It We're is seven as well. Like, oh, bro. Gee. Oh, yes. Oh, we are back in the old days. I'm going to wait what? for a confirmation. Now. Um, show, if you want to show your screen and show your analysis, feel free to do so. Okay. Hang on. Thing is, I am on my laptop, as I just said. Uh huh. Look at that. Uh, right now, basically the same thing, really. I'll show it on my phone there, just because. I think iPad MT4 needs to be updated. I think it needs to be close to the laptop rather than the phone. Empty for close to the laptop. Curly, uh, the. Can you say that again? iPad MT4 is not. Not even close to the PC MT4, like the laptop MP, MT4, which it should be. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. They should optimize it. Like. It should be very much closer to the um, MT4 of laptops rather than phones. It's a bit silly. Um, yeah, screen. Why are they going to tell me? Why would I share screen if I don't think everything on my screen is going to be shared? What the fuck? Giving me a warning. What are you doing? Can you see now? No, I can't. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, one second. I was on my screen. Yeah, I can see. It's like you're in your phone, bro. I'm on my phone. Because the cord's on the phone, isn't it? So I've got to show it on the phone. 
So yeah, I haven't entered this yet. I'm waiting for this five minute candle to close and see what it does. So overall, the analysis is, like I said in the last uh, call, we explained that Asia session does this. No, you don't know that. It's not going to be, it's not, it's, it's going to be a separate video. <laughs> no need to link it back to that. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, I just saw, yeah. bro, uh, multiverse, man. We're doing some Marvel Multiple shit. Multiple madness. Yeah, multi <laughs> multiverse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so, as you guys know already, Asia session is this. Let me change the color. Uh, I should pop out here. That should be on. Yeah, Asian session just does this. Bounces around, usually. Right, so that's what's happened so far, and I'm looking at the short term structure, like I said. So I'm looking short term, thinking what's happened. Okay, we've got we have got if I can, we've got one high here. Look on the top left, low, high, it's a terrible circle, high, low, high. <laughs> I really, I'm going to sort my internet out. The, the internet out. And fucking you kind of have to, bro. It is dead. <laughs> I know, it's so annoying doing this. Okay, yeah, low. So basically, as you can see, look. High, low, high, low, high, low. So right now, on this structure level, we are bearish. So I'm only looking for sales. Initially, I had my entry here, this white candle here. You can see which one I'm circling. Let me circle it. Let me get the drawing tool out wherever it is. There it is. Yeah, that was my initial entry. And then I was watching price action. We created a new impulse here, as you can see with this gap here. And I thought, okay, we've got the gap. Price has broke down here, but it hasn't taken Asia low. So once price gets here, I'm going to wait and see what price does. I'm going to wait for like a bearish candle or rejection candle and see if price respects this order block. And as you can see now, it hasn't. So I've saved myself because I waited for a five minute candle. I've saved myself an entry. So what I'm going to do now, since we're still in this bearish leg here, we're still inside it. We haven't broken above it. I'm going to check at this next area. now. If it breaks through that, I can check in the next area. So on and so forth. The only time I'm going to start looking for buys right now is... Was it breaks if, into high? Yeah, if it breaks through Asia high now, to be honest, if it breaks Asia high, I'm probably just going to stop looking for a trade. So yeah. Point, my session is done, really. It used up its all its liquidity at that point, to be honest. There's no point. It's going to start. Yeah, it's a whole, yeah, it's a whole load of liquidity. If it's gone, gone from all the way from here down to up there, it's a bit yeah. techy. Yeah. I'm looking at 155 as well, too. Sorry, 165.5 as well. Yeah, like... that's perfect. Yeah, if, the reason Mark's looking is because he uses levels. And you can see here, look how many bounces we've got on this one level. If you look here to here, many bounces at this exact same level. One, two, three, four, five. If you want to count this one, six. And now, inshallah, we bounce off again. We'll see. Oh, uh, to, to be fair, what I'm expect I can't actually annotate on yours. To be fair, I'm expecting a bit yeah. of either, like because obviously, like, as you said, this is going to be a mixed level of people looking to sell off. What, I, what I'll be expecting is a push to the upside first, probably breaking that one five, yeah. sorry, five five level and a break down below. Oh, all oh, right. Yeah, you look for the fake out to be fair. Look, yeah, looking for a fake out around this level, grabbing liquidity. And then I do uh, see equals here. Yeah, to be fair, I see, I see, I see liquidity getting taken first before, before pushing I mean, up. Let's see. Push the way I see it, it doesn't really have to right now. Like, it doesn't have to, no, but it's just safer for me. Yeah, potentially. Because Right now to the bottom, I think slightly more. And the current market conditions right now is just so manipulated. It's insane. Like yesterday, I would have like I would have lost but won a trade, if you know what I mean. So I would have got tapped out, but it would have been a winning trade. Like three. Three in a you row. Say that but, you would have got top tapped out, but it would have been a winning trade. Yeah, so I would have got tapped out like in what the stop loss I was looking at. But it's still after getting tapped out. Oh, perfect, then it went black. down. Yeah, yeah. But like gold, you got oil for hunted. Example, you got hunted. Oil, oil would have hunted me down. Um, what else? Um, gold, gold. To be fair, nah, that then didn't manipulate anyway. To be fair, but bit, uh, GJ yes. did. So yeah, it was it was good. That's to be mad. Fair. That's mad. Yeah, 
Okay, let's look at Bitcoin then. Let's look at what's well, happening. Hopefully, GDA is playing nice today. Let's see. I don't. I doubt it plays nice, but I reckon. I reckon it just manipulates for the whole bloody few things, few days, maybe this week, something. You yeah. got. Wait, I was back got... testing uh, yesterday. I was back testing the whole, you know, wait for five minute close thing. And funnily yeah. enough, the, the stats were worse than the first time. This was February. Yeah? It was like 6% gain, 5% gain. And I was like, yeah. right, how's that? And I'm waiting for an extra close. Mm. And then I thought, okay, maybe I'm doing structure on. So now the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, first I'm going to test literally just structure on its own, like properly marking out structure. Yeah. Then taking trades from the block mm. and then see what that does. Then check the five minute wait of candle as well. I really like doing that, waiting for the five minute rejection. There's something about it that makes it feel really um, satisfying. safer, safer, satisfying. Because, like, I feel like when you just do the order block, it's too unpredictable. It's like, what if price just blasts through? Oh, what are you going to do? You know? Just take the L and move on, bro, surely. Yeah. No? I know, but. It's annoying, isn't it? Like, let's say I've taken yeah. two trades. It could just blast through on both of them, and it's like, it's a oh, weird way to trade. Yeah. I think what I'm trying to say is there's not enough confirmations with that strategy. Really, it's just strategy and order block. That's not enough. You need one more thing at least. It, well, order block, I think order block is just one part of smart money concept, isn't it? So, like... Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Use more SMC, maybe. Yeah, you got liquidity, all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So with Bitcoin right now, so as you can see, it's quite simple. It's currently ranging right now in this level. <clears throat> simple. I'm just trading within that range right now, I'm expecting price to break below uh, past that range at some point, but it keeps failing to do so. So what I'm expecting now is a manipulation sort of the downside here, breaking this, breaking these lows over here on the left. Um, I don't actually want to be in that trade. I don't. I still don't. I don't want to be in the current trade I'm in. Um, before that oh happens. Oh my god! Yeah, shut down. Boom. Yeah. So here and here is the range I'm looking at. Right. As you can see here, I was expecting price to push past that resistance after hitting to twenty eight thousand five hundred once more. Um, it didn't. It rejected it, which is fine. Um, it just means there's not there's not enough orders or liquidity or volume, whatever you want to call it. Um, in this level right now so what I'm expecting is as again one more push and I was like yeah, it's not going to be enough after that it's going to be exactly the same result as before just because nothing's changed in the market it's still exactly the same thing that happened before um, so what I'm expecting is something has to change right it has to push down one more time potentially push past this level go back up above mm -hmm. and that be enough um, liquidity to push up um, once that happens we're targeting around 33,000 Expecting this. Um, let's see if I can get my square triangle thing. Expecting this to kind of like, not that one, not that whole thing. This, this one. Jeez, I'm failing here. This thing right here. Am I okay? Why are you going that? Wait, what are you trying to do? I'll show you. This to kind of just repeat itself. Right, okay. So what I'll do, I'm trying to duplicate it, but it's not so hard to do it on the iPad. There we go. Clone. Oh, God. I'll get there one day. There we go. It's time for you to switch to laptop too. Bro. I, I, I have my laptop. It's, yeah, so 33,000, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just double itself. Right, so that's how you do it. Mm. I mean, it's not exactly 32,000, but I, that was the level I was expecting it to go through, which is, yeah. Actually, that is 32,000, isn't it? Just about. Just oh, below. GJ, uh, GJ's entering the area, by the way, if you're interested. It's fine. It's fine. Um, no rush. Um, you're just letting you know. Yeah, thank you. But yes, yeah, so that's what I'm expecting. So uh, a push from this consolidation, um, push back, back down to the repeat of that consolidation, but it's not going to consolidate. I'm expecting a huge bullish run to the upside rather than consolidation up. It's a huge leg to the upside, and then from a huge leg, expecting a some sort of some sort of like a, a slowdown, repeat of orders, and then a collapse to the downside once more, potentially going down to twenty thousand is what uh, we're going for. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Currently, Bitcoin is pushing down, which is ideal because I'm going to sell, but. 
But yeah, that's uh, that's it basically. Nice. Yeah, but GJ is a finesse you. That's actually funny. Right. Look how you see that first bullish order block that there was. I like got violated. Yeah, it went back down. Look at that. It made people think, okay, GJ's going up. Let's buy now. Violate. Like, this is order block traders, SMC traders. It violates it, pushes down. Makes people think, okay, let's sell at this bearish order block. Pushes up, violates that block. And now comes back, then gives that entry at the uh, bullish order block. That's really interesting. I'm gonna. I want to see what happens now. That's very interesting. That's I right. think that you means whatever does, whatever, whichever block it comes to now, we're gonna get a big move from. I think it could be this one here. I think it is, but I think it's gonna move. I think it's gonna. It's yeah. Gonna back one more time. It's that yeah that bull the way it violated the bullish one first, then went up. It's it's got me slightly thinking maybe we're getting a bigger move up to the upside. I reckon we're getting. See. I reckon we're getting violated one more time before pushing down. Sort of liking the price action, to be fair. <sighs> Personally, I do not, I do not like the price action currently of GJ. I'm looking, I'm looking to sell this on the signal group, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. I'm putting this on the group, sells down to daily low of 158.730 is my target. Bro, this would be a 1 to 20 for you if you enter here. A 1 What's to 20. Bro? Jesus. We're not about that life, though. I'm not doing that 1 to 20, bro. You're mad. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> one just, oh, man. I, I just used like, to... Harder than expected to potentially use your entries. You, I mean, just, I, you, just, you just hold, like, 10, 20%. That makes it easier. I mean, too, if I do, like... What's it called? I do get like almost pinpoint accuracy, like what's it called um entries sometime, but like that's by pinpoint. I mean, like it probably went two, two, three pips in drawdown. Yeah, but that's like best case scenario. Sometimes it goes like five pip drawdown, and I still call it accuracy. Yeah, I think it's just for you. It's like a natural process. Your your stops are naturally going to get smaller over time because you're just gonna. <laughs> yeah, they have. Gone you're just gonna eventually notice things that make it smaller. Yeah. To be fair, they have gotten smaller, to be fair. Yeah. I don't think... Are we going to violate these Asian highs? I don't think we are, you know. I don't think so. I think there's too much to the downside, like, and it's respecting bear structure. It's respecting the, our, our level on the left here. Which I think higher time frames are still bullish. It's like... Well, I'm, it, one six one psychological level has been rejected perfectly with a huge bearish move to the downside. I think we can... If we retrace to the upside there, it's like... It just wasted that all that liquidity, and I don't think it wants to. I, I think mm. it, it has to. It has to go up. I think it has to go down from. So you're are you expecting a bearish break of structure? I'm I'm expecting a bearish break of structure. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say because you are high, you are bullish on high time frames. I'm counting trend right now, but short term you are bearish. That's why I'm. Doing I'm bearish down to five, one five eight seven thirty potentially even down to previous daily low of. One five seven right, eight, one five seven, which is a uh, on on, which is a a one to five. They're nice. We do like one to fives. I do feel pro. I I I don't want to get FOMO. That's why. I'm oh my god, GJ is reacting. It's already reacted on the other one. I'm gonna enter. It's already reacted, yeah. To uh, one five. Once five. it breaks this candle low, no, I mean on a wonder, it's already reacted to the block. So once I it breaks this low, I'm gonna enter. So. With the stop loss above the high, one pip above the high. A two percent risk, yeah. Actually, you know, can you? One minute, let me check. I'm, I'm going to check the FK moment. I'm all under right now. If you want to look at my. No, I'm on it now. I've just seen it. It's uh, reacting to the block. One, I'm going to see the FTMO one to be sure as well. See what this is. To be honest, it doesn't make a difference because price is going to do the same thing anyway. Oh, GJ. There it is. There's the push up. There's some sort of manipulation going in the market. Let's see. What's FTMO doing? Okay, it hasn't reacted on FTMO either. So if it pushes them now, that would be good for you there. Mm. Tap the block. I dare you. 
So, Have you? Yeah. Uh, we're going to get that manipulation maybe you're talking about. Hopefully not. I want to actually enter today. Where's my entries again? So it was like one five, one six, one sixty. Can I please see my um? The hell? <laughs> Do you find oh, these, these cells? We got two and a half minutes. Um, I'm gonna make a section of notion for a beginner trading videos list. We'll just just uh, whenever you think of it, just add it to there. Yeah. Because now we're trying to trade. I think whenever you're free, just put it on there. I'll start with some now. Uh, I need to copy this. Just so, candles explained, of course. How to use trading view. Okay, let me let me just put how to use trading view. How to use MT4, how to buy FTMO free trial, how to use, uh, what are the soft uh, FX, um, my FX book or something like that, Forex Factory. Yeah. Actually, no, way, are we, we going to teach news or not? Because I don't think we don't, I don't really use it. I use it some, I, I have an idea of what's happening with the world. Oh yeah, I mean like Forex Factory, as in checking every day. We can we can do that. We can do it eventually. <laughs> Maybe that's like a PDF thing. I don't know. It's not really the biggest thing. In our yeah, I put it in the tutorial section like we can, but we can't say in there. We don't. This isn't the Bible for us. No, we don't really like. Yeah, we don't really look at things like that. It's just stress. <laughs> that's just extra stress. You don't need to worry. Facts. Can I go on? Let's see if GJ violates now. Are you watching? No, I'm putting I'm putting a trade through and thing. Currently looking. Oh, no, at... that's what I mean. Uh, I mean, are you watching, yeah. DJ? No. <laughs> I'm putting the trade though. Yeah, I'm not watching it though. Currently what? looking at GBP. No, I'm putting the um um trade on Discord. Looking, currently looking at GBP JPY sales around one sixty. Point zero five five zero five five zero um market sold off around psychological psychological area of one sixty hundred around the Asia session. Yeah, it's broken through the block. No entry for me at the moment. Am I getting my, my manipulation call? Maybe. I'm going to look at the next one now. Around the Asia session. Um, and it's... Damn, GJ really is on smoke recently, isn't it? It, it really is, mate. It's, and it's currently around the... Um, just structural that level. Of 155, 155, no, 160.550. <laughs> right, well, it's, um... something new we can put in a beginner video maybe it can be like mental tricks psychology what's a beginner psychology tip yeah. how about we explain that psychology is important yeah that is a beginner thing. we just <laughs> let them know by the way your mental by the state way, guys, will affect your training. Yeah. you know that thing you know that thing psychology important <laughs> Men yeah, I said, I'll put mental state 
impact on trading. It'll be a quick video, literally just saying, by the way, if X, Y, and Z has happened to you this morning, do not try and trade. Yeah. Uh, there it is. That's true, you know, because like, they might not even know. That's, a lot of beginners won't even know that. That's something you learn later on. Okay, it has broken up, broken above this um, thing on on the seven minutes. Anyways, just need fifteen minutes to close above this level, and then next to finish below, and then boom, entering easy done deal, win life. Let's go. Easy done deal. You know what? You know what I say? Just fuck it, bro. No winter. What's it today at gym, by the way? You lot were deciding yesterday, were you? A uh, pull. Pull. Oh, right, cool. Pull. So that's what? Pull ups, back stuff. Yeah. Pull down. Yep, bicep. Uh, yeah, bicep. We're back in oh, biceps. Let's get these biceps. Six point twenty three put value. Oh, that's why I was going to say that's not right. It was on power 783. That's a bit better. 1k divided by 46.9 lad divided by 783. 2.7. Oh, you better not. You better not. You better not be pushing down before I even get to enter you, you kid. 2.7. Nah, I was going to push up one more time. That's fake. That's fake, yeah. bro. Get back up, bro. <laughs> I ain't answering you yet, buddy. Yeah, I want it at 724 now, that area. That's how I have I want it. Yeah, to be fair. If I, I get a decent bullish reaction here, I might try and buy up to that area. So I'm going to see what happens. Oh, is that part of the strategy, bro? That is the question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Because um, obviously we violated the last order, bro. Currently, that is too much of a weak level to even enter from, so I'm not going to do that. Strongest level near it. No, nah, it's already it's already gone to the strongest level. It's going to fucking collapse before you even know it. Uh, collapse. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, well. Who said promotions? My stop is so big that it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I don't There it is. There's a one more push up. I was expecting. I was like, yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna fool me, GJ. I know you. You don't care about my money. <laughs> All right, I've entered. Nice. Put that on the Discord chat. Uh, reply. Entered. Ding. Check. You should uh, maybe at everyone as well, just to make sure they see it. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so don't let them see the signal. Come on, bro. It's fine. They can wait. They can, they can like, be like, oh, I should have listened. I, I should have looked. I guess. Then it's their fault, not mine. Your signal. Your decision. Yeah, it's going to be funny once I, once I start the live trading call. We're going to have a little competition, me and you. He's doing oh, better. Who makes money? No, like, yeah, who makes the most gains in it? Send his gains. <laughs> that's a win that's what it's going to turn. That's a, that's that's what what it's... a bag. <laughs> is, it, is it? Is it there? <laughs> no, because you get one to fives consistently. And my take, mine takes like two, three days to even finish. So 
Yeah, like, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky because like I think by the time we start, you might still have a high win rate. We'll see about that. But like, I'll have the high risk reward on average. I think. Yeah, your your risk wish winter. Uh, sorry, well, sorry, risk reward is gonna be insanely high compared to mine. I mean, currently yeah. too. Yeah, this one's not too bad. It's like a a one to four, but. Yeah, you know, it, it's also like two hundred thousand pips. So if I'm trading GJ as well, and you're trading GJ in the same direction, you're just gonna hold it to my take profit with your small ass stop loss. No, like, no. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Tricks to the game. Tricks How to the game. How'd you that, man? That- <laughs> There's levels to this shit, bro. There's levels to this shit. How'd like, you finesse that, man? <laughs> But basically, when we're doing calls, I'm not trading GJ ever. I'm just not gonna call <laughs> GJ. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> just so I don't do anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, there's a way to it, man. Like, you can just do different uh, risk rewards every time. Like, you just look at the high time frame structure. You see, okay, am I in line with, let's say, the four hour structure? Okay, let's do four hour targets today. Well, let's do this. Let's do that. That's yeah. what some people do. They'll change their targets based on the high time frames. By the way, once um one sixty two six one's broken, or when, if it gets broken, then I'm moving stop loss to break even on the chat. I mean, I'm leaving my stop loss open, but I'm leaving yeah. stop loss on chat. No, that makes sense because it's breaky, uh, very structure in it. Yeah. It's made a new leg at that point. At that point, it has to make another leg. If it doesn't, then you're more likely to get tapped out than anything. It's yeah. just against it's just against my strategy to um to move it to break even really at that that early on. So where's your one. stop loss anyway? My stop loss currently, or bro, it's far. It's one sixty one zero seven. Oh, do you mean one one six one? One zero yeah, one one point zero seven. Yeah. Okay, so Asia high. Okay, above that structure, I see. I above see. Asia, because I above Asia high, I'm expecting a that makes sense. spike to the upside, anyways. If it breaks Asia high, so maybe yeah. I'll look to then if 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 need be, but um, no. yeah. I see what you're doing because like once at that point, it's made bullish structure, hasn't it? So yeah, like, so, you don't yeah. really want to be in sales. No, a lot of people probably sold from there as well. So stop loss would probably be there at that point, moving into break even potentially. Like traders probably moving yeah. into break, so they'll have to buy back their position, spiking the push, uh, spiking the uh, what's it called the market up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so at that point, yeah, I'd probably I'd probably want to close there and then boom, push up. Currently, <laughs> big money plated budge here. Hasn't even made a bomb wick yet on the 15 minute. Come on, if it finishes like this and the next and the next candle's bearish, we are golden. I just entered a little bit early. Yeah, you did say you're gonna wait for a 15. What made you change your mind? Hmm? What made you change your mind? Like my stop loss. Said you were gonna... My stop loss. Oh, is you skewed. didn't want to wait just in yeah. case. Yeah. Right, no, to be fair, look at that. I did expect one more push to the upside, and that's exactly what happened there. Um, but as long as it finishes bearish the next candle, we're good. We're, we're good. It just means liquidity has been tapped there. And now we're expecting bearish sentiment to the downside. And then if not, I might call it to close on the group. I'll hold it myself. <sighs> Make a topic at least, a kid. No? Okay, whatever. Man, this is fucking sick, man. We're live trading again. We're doing yeah. it. That's sick. We did like, this for so long last time. Like the old days, bro. Legit. Okay. Well, GJ gives my entry, we'll be live trading. <laughs> Oh, it's a 170, isn't it? Sorry, 700. 160. Yeah, just that, that candle there. You can see it. Yeah, I can see I'm it. waiting for it to enter that scope of vision. And we yeah. shall be live, boy. We shall be live. Oh, uh, let's go. If it hits your entry, that is. I mean, to be fair, there's a high chance it hits your entry. Uh, I'm, the, there is a high, I'm still going to wait for a five minute candle. Just to make yeah. sure. There's a huge chance it hits your entry, actually. Yeah. Look, it's looking like it. And then it'll line up with, hopefully it'll line up with London Open. And we've got this slow-ass price action upwards. It looks like liquidity to me. It does look like liquidity to me, to be honest. Look at that. 
Do you know that if you go on the one minute, you see this curve in action on the way up? Yeah, I love that. Whenever I see that, it's so sad. Yeah. You know, it looks too good to be true. It's like, you know, there's people buying here. Trend line, trend line, equal support. It's too, it's too curved. It's too yeah. curvy. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, one minute is crazy, you know? Yeah, that's why I don't use it anymore. <laughs> it's too many, it's too much twitching on the one minute. It actually is. Oh, it's actually crazy. I would it would literally thought, give you was, ADHD. Bro, that push up there, I would have like, oh, my stop loss just got hit. But no, my stop loss is like 200 miles away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, it, it, it like that, bro. Oh my God, minute. take profit's been hit, bro. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> One minute's like a drug. You don't you don't want too much of it. You don't I want too much of it. Like the lowest I'll go again was like seven minute, potentially five. Mm. Like, but nah, one minute's a bit too much for me. I bet some crazy traders as well out there like hold one minute trades to like four hundred pips or something on GJ. Yeah, if they do, they switch time frames. I'm sure, like they do, like yeah. get out of it. Yeah, because like that is like crazy to look at. I'll show you uh, one thing I'm going to start testing. Probably, it'll probably be around five, V5 five or six. Yeah. Depending. I'll, uh, one minute. Um, how do I... Ba, 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 ba. Let's share my screen. Hang on. Your, uh, let me share my screen one sec. You're sharing yours too. There you go. Yeah, so there's this. Basically, what the user strategy was was that I used to do. You go on the four hour, right? And you look for that point of interest. Oh, one second. Let me go to yours. There you go. So you look for the four hour point of interest. Remember, I used to show you this. Like, you wait for the order block. Yeah. And that's your area of interest. And then inside there, you're looking for another break of structure. It's so yeah. like a five minute. Looking for a new order block on the lower time frames. Right. What I was thinking was, why can't I do that, but on the lower time frame? So I do something like, let's say I mark out my, that's better for me. So I mark out my order block. Now, why can't this be my point of interest? Because remember, the market's fractal. It works the same on all time frames, really. Yeah. That's how the algorithms work. So once it gets here, why can't I just look on the one minute or the 30 second time frame? This is what people do, by the way, like successfully. 30 second or one minute, we'll quickly look for a break of structure. If it happens, cool. Grab the order block. And that's the third confirmation. You're waiting for it to enter and you get a tiny break of structure. Let me give an example. So let's say inside this square here. It's a terrible color. Is that? Let's do this. Comes inside this box here, and you get something like this on the. What the fuck is that? Like on the thirty second, something like this, where it breaks structure. Leaves an order block at the pie here. I mean, you already know this. This is just for people watching. Phone is terrible. Long story short, you get an order block left here, comes back up, and then you enter there. And that makes it really safe for you because you're not entering straight up the five minute block here where yeah. you can just get violated straight away. For example, here bloody here it's just too much stress if you're doing that i feel like it's too much stress even oh, here that was yeah right there violated imagine i allowed imagine i just took it straight off uh, the bat yeah like violated <laughs> violated bro it, and what was that in a sit by 655 it's seven and you're done yeah it's no. seven and you you just you just failed for the day basically yeah. allow that um yeah i think this confirmation it's a way of like securing yourself making sure you just don't get blasted through 
especially with GJ. Extra yeah, extra confluence. confluence. I think who is it? What YouTuber was it? Uh, the YouTuber meant FX. He calls it three box strategy. So like, you basically, the first box would be this break of structure here, right? Yep. So I don't know if you've seen it. Or not. Like this break of structure here, where we have got this order block left. That's the first box. Yeah. The second box is the push back up, right? The third box is this final break of structure here. And then right. you get a new three box on the lower time frames. And you right. do the same thing over and over. And I think it's really cool. Um, it's reacting as to that. It hasn't reacted to that order block, but it's reacting close to, it, order, to, your, to its order block. Yeah. Sorry. Mm-mm. It's quite weird. No, no, I was, I was done anyway. I was joking. I think I'm hoping now it just keeps pushing up slowly. Come to this area so I can get my entry. It's, it's exactly what's happening earlier from from um, what's it called a few moments ago. As you can see, it uh, like it trickles down a little bit, and then boom, spike yeah, up. yeah. Well, volatility. Look, I can't lie; it's looking a bit the, equal right look at, now. Look at the five minute. Look at the five minute. You can see five yeah. minutes. The, 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 the bullish candle, I mean, bearish candles have been quite, on the first one especially, it's quite, yeah. lost, but it couldn't, it pushed back up again. So if that happens again, then we might see one more push to the upside of 700. If not, Let's then we'll collapse from here because you can, see, like, bear, I think bears have started to waken up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. It's finishing back below that structure that I was expecting. So again, the fake out that I was thinking. Is kind of happening. Oh, mate, if it finishes, that is nice. If it finishes, if it finishes below this level, as I said in in a six minutes, then exactly what I thought would happen would happen. Um, that's a win, and I recorded yeah, it. Yeah. So post that, sh- bro. That's true. As long as one of us got this, is good. <laughs> if I lost, <laughs> then I'm not first again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Fact, with, with losses, losses is something you mentioned quickly in a video you say oh yeah I did take this last but I had these wins let's look at these wins don't look at them (laughs) oh by the way I did take an hour earlier but yeah so look at this five one to five reward two weeks ago (laughs) on Bitcoin (laughs) that's what I'm thinking bro I don't know about you it broke structure it's facts only you can't really show your losses because it's just you don't want to see that if you remember you want you want to know the dare well you don't want to see it yeah it is rejecting that uh, stop rejecting that though for real come on now come on now what are you doing come on GJ stop being a dickhead bear in mind that once we start the live streams you will have to show them. <laughs> if, you, if you're entering live on the call then you will have to show them. I mean to be fair as long as our risk to reward is higher than fucking like yeah plus either way we'll have that account on, on lock so that this this will be a 15% trade with 2% risk no 3% risk sorry we're doing 3% only 1.5 each yeah, yeah, one point five each. Fifteen percent trade right here, so pretty good. I would probably say we probably shouldn't like trade the same instrument at the same time, same day. You should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Yeah, for sure. comp- <laughs> we don't want to be hedging. <laughs> you're sure, and you're like, what the hell? Look at that impulsive move. To, to be answer. fair, I mean, it's gonna be I don't. Know, I, don't I think that's that psychology would be fine. Like, because what if both work out? Because I could get my short term one done, and you still got your long. I, I just don't see. I just think, it, yeah, it it would be hard to keep your psychology straight when one your your partner is buying and you're selling. Maybe, yeah. Like, we'll imagine, see when it comes to in it. Imagine see I'm buying right and you're selling, and my stop loss, oh, you know, is is your, you know, I don't know, past big your profit. Big profit, yeah. yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, then if he if he wins the straight I absolutely just, <laughs> but then again like that's five percent for you and one percent loss for me so that's like one to four so that's four percent win so yeah I'm gonna start testing other pairs as well it's fine like, I, I don't see why not I can't annotate on your on your screen man it's quite annoying oh am I still sharing yeah is it because I'm on you're on your phone because you're on your phone must be must be because I'm on just share, just share yours. Okay. This is so fucking... I'm going in four minutes, by the way. Because right, I'm... I'm past. Say that again? I'm walking to work. I'm not... You, you're walking today. I mean, yeah. it's next to your house anyway, isn't it? 
funds. Yeah, it's so close to my house, but I got to get ready and stuff. I think I've 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 been cutting a bit too close with eight o'clock, to be honest, because like, yeah, I still have right. to eat, shower and stuff like that, so I have to do all that. Yeah, yeah, a bit crazy. Oh, that's, so is this a regular thing now? I think yeah, I think it's gonna have to be for the meantime. Yeah, uh, until I that's get, calm. unless I can like potentially like, wake up. I might wake up a bit earlier. Uh, no, go. I was I'm, gonna say because um, basically my training time is gonna be six to eight a.m. I yeah. was going to start waking about half five anyway. Okay, so okay. we can start, if you're just saying you're going to wake up early as well, Yeah. maybe we can even jump on at six or 6.50. Because yeah, we are pushing it back, so we start from seven now, 6.30. Potentially next week, we can roll it down to 6.15 maybe and then go on yeah. some um, just yeah. so we get more more time on the calls. Yeah, um, be good. Come on, five minutes. Five more minutes for this fifteen minute bloody candle to close below. Just giving me my entry, bro. I'm gonna be looking at this next candle now. It's broken structure towards the downside. Come we on, in, we in baby, we in baby. What was it for the magnet control in it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do love control. the magnet pool. My favorite. I just realized as well, Sean doesn't post on Instagram anymore. He's living that already took it off. Say that again. That already took I it think, off. I uh, think it's the on Twitter. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know what that guy's up to. What? Oh, sorry. I just said yeah. Uh, it's like as because I was looking at something. I don't know. I said is he on? I said is he on Twitter? I'm not too sure to be honest. I'm not too sure. I said, I don't really know what he's up to. I don't check too much. I swear, he's just the face of Astro, isn't he? He doesn't actually do anything to Astro. No, I think he's just Pop, the face. Pops in every couple of months for a video with Nat. <laughs> Same thing, like... To be honest, I don't know, too. I'm pretty sure he's a better trader than that. No, no, he is, I'm saying, but he, he doesn't do I mean, anything to Astro, does he? I'm pretty sure Astro is actually Nat's company, like, as in, he's, it actually is his company. Also, I might close this trade if it finishes above. I know, I'm looking to enter here at 160, 600. Mm. That, it lines up perfectly with your level. So you have. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like, yeah, don't I'm, let that affect your decision. No, you as long as it's yeah, yeah. below like 165, 5, I'm keeping it. Um, but as, right, the right. moment it finishes above that level, I might as well just close the trade because it just means it broke structure in my, in my head. So it's been, yeah, I, I got manipulated into selling basically. Right. But now, I do. 30 seconds, we're good. We are good. No, no, we're not. I do good. like the engulfing candle. I do like. Where's the engulfing on five minutes? Five minutes looks amazing, bro. Yeah, there, but. It's like your place. Buy against me. Yeah. Stop buying against me, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using your liquidity um... against me. There we go. Thank you. Thanks for closing. Stop buying, bro. <laughs> Someone's there. <laughs> you got a couple. Of... Couple thousand oh, people doing something, and they stop using the liquidity against me. I swear they just want to lose, man. Do they want to lose money or something? Is that what they want? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'm keeping my trade, and I'll, and that's uh, yeah, that's me done for the charts perfectly, actually. <laughs> oh, sound bro. Uh, perfectly time. So yeah, that's me done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can, I can, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. That's what it is now. All right. <laughs> I'll let you know if I enter. Uh, let me know if I win, actually. Sound, let me, <laughs> Sandri. You will know. You will know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to look at it. 